Light it up, Jay. Mm, uh, I would. Hit it, Jay. Uh, I would if I knew how. <laughs> Light it up. We're back to work. <laughs> yeah. You got it. <laughs> Are you serious right now? I can't now? <laughs> see anything. <laughs> Oh, that button. There we go. Oh, I was touching these buttons. I did something <laughs> okay. up here, sorry. We are back at our remodel job for another day of work after completely gutting the kitchen in the last episode. Today, we're finally gonna remove that exterior wall and replace it with a giant girder. But first, we have to temporarily support the roof system somehow so it doesn't fall down in the meantime. So my plan is, since we have open framing here, just take a stud on each rafter Hey, that's oh, genius. Oh. Stick it to the side with two structural screws. Yeah. One toe screw in the bottom so it doesn't kick out. Just do one on every single rafter. And then we can knock the wall up, put the beam in. You amaze me, man. <laughs> like, you are just like the smartest guy I know. That was, that was Uncle Jamie's idea. Like, that wasn't his idea. I heard him say yesterday. Really? Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> I knew you couldn't be that smart. <laughs> Screwing these studs to the side of the ceiling joists instead of putting them underneath definitely saved us time and money because we were able to reuse them. We didn't have to cut them, but I will say if you had a floor load and a roof load, I would cut them to fit and put them underneath and that would give you a better bearing. Once we had our temporary studs in place and attached at the top, we went back and plumbed them down roughly and toe screwed them to the floor. Hey, can I start cutting these out or what? I think we're ready. I don't... Oh! Oh! <laughs> so most of this exterior wall that we're removing was already just headers for a door and a window. What we're doing is just trying to cut these down to manageable size pieces so we can drop them down overhead safely. The hardest part of this wall to remove was the double top plate because it's toe nailed in with real 16D nails. And what I found after this job, definitely bring all the Sawzalls and a bunch of new Sawzall blades to remodels. Got any new blades? This thing sucks. There you go. Wow, you read my mind. Face of focus right there. What was I doing? Just making an awesome face, like you're really working hard. It's your work face. <laughs> Our next step after removing the wall was to cut back the end of the rafter and the ceiling joist by three and a half inches so that they will butt into instead of sitting on top of the new girder, allowing the girder to slide up higher and not stick down into the room so far. Hey, we need to put some tape on top of that. I'm getting uh, some smells. Oh, really? Yeah, up here I'm directly oh, above it. Oh, a little bit of sewer gas in you out there? Mmm. Mm. Smells like you yesterday afternoon, except not as bad. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't, <laughs> wasn't me today. Oh, hey, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, no, tape, tape. No tape no, right here. Oh, tape <laughs> on oh, this. Oh, 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 my. I thought you wanted me to tape Jamie's butt shut. <laughs> So what do you think? Our jacks have to come down right where this thing is. Yeah, uh, literally that is where we're gonna cover all that up. And there's no access from below, so I think we're gonna have to cut a hole in the subfloor. I say we saw a hole in the floor, give the plumber a little access. We'd be doing him a favor, I think. Hmm. And, and, and how often do you get to do your plumber a favor, you know? All the time for me. Well. I did try to make the cuts in the subfloor on the center of the floor joist so that it would be easier to replace. And there's gonna have to be more of this torn out later because the drain line that will go to the new island is gonna have to run under the subfloor and pop up where the new island is. The most dead giveaway of a remodel when you add it on is like a hump in the floor, mm. right? I mean, mm. Mm, I, humpy floor. That? I mean, I want to be able to sleep at night, okay? So if there's a <laughs> hump in this floor, uh, no bueno. And we actually had a little bit of work to deal with to make sure we didn't have a hump in this floor. This masonry was sticking up about 3 sixteenths of an inch, which is enough definitely to cause a hump in the floor. So Jamie used a diamond grinder and a chisel and got everything leveled down before we proceeded. 
I'm thinking we better cut a hole in this side as well and just make sure we have solid blocking underneath our jacks. Oh, because on that side, there wasn't. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you see it? No, yeah, check it out. Oh, no way. So, mm. there's a ring board. But, oh, wow. So, I mean, I'm thinking add another. Oh, for sure. Just block. Definitely. And that's, that's the concrete block wall below it. Yeah. So, we're good there. We're going to put all the weight on that. All right, Jay, construction terminology time. What okay. are those called? Uh, those are called squash blocks. Wow, look at you. You're like a real builder. We learn something I, every wow. day. Wow. Okay. Well, that wasn't any fun. <laughs> it just I, I was, you I was like, day. surely he's going to say something amazing. <laughs> it's just because I heard you guys talk about it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to cover it back up. Now. Uh, I would have called them pieces of two by four. Yeah, that's what they are. <laughs> Now, I called shotgun, but I guess that's no good around here, huh? I, I, I said I didn't want to be that guy, but I got to charge my pump. Oh, he's got to, oh, oh, it's yeah. something about your uh, health. Man. It's a medical emergency. Yeah. All right. Dude, if we're going to eat Taco Bell, I need more than 5%. <laughs> yeah. I'm not riding back next to Jamie, though. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, Don't yeah. Don't worry, I put tape on his butt. <laughs> we're good. Yeah, I'm going to just check a few of my emails Dude, while we're, uh, let's see, kind of log Dude, in, J-A-I-M-E Perkins. Left, go left. Maybe Can you type with your prosthetic? Totally Seriously? Uh, you probably could, but I never could type to start with, so uh, okay. I'm not really very a good judge of that, <laughs> okay. I don't think. Um, but yeah, I'd say so, look at that. Da, 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 wow. Da. I mean, I think people do it. Are you allowed to bring your own snacks into Taco Bell? Oh, I was going to add this to my grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be real good. Up. And finally, after an entire morning of prep work, it was time to start installing our new girder. We had to start by snaking these pieces through the house to get them where they needed to go. Yeah, I think you gotta move your ladder, Jay. <laughs> to make the installation of this girder go easier, what we're doing is just hanging it from the end of these ceiling joists, which are supported temporarily. Then we'll come back and put the jacks under each end and push it up tight. probably shoot it from this side so the inspector can see it's nailed or fastened that's a good idea we're gonna cover that up again with another layer so just so they can see it is fastened we'll do it this way fill it up with some nails yeah, lots of nails big wood coming through big wood all right, all right, all right. Easy, easy, i don't want to brag easy, easy. but i got some big wood right here all right. If you're curious, this is about a 16 foot clear span that we're doing with this triple ply, 12 inch deep LVL. And that's just for one roof load. If there had been a floor load and a roof load above this, the beam would have had to been much deeper. How high would you say that beam is? <clears throat> it's high enough. It's as high as it can be. That's, that's a good answer. It's as high as we could get it. It's, it's within reason without doing extreme measures. Yes. Any higher and it would go through the top of the other part of the It'd roof, It'd be right? sticking through the plywood and stick it. Now, we could stick it out the top of the roof and shingle over it. <laughs> it sure get it way up there, so yeah. high. Like right. a little dormer. Thanks to AG1 by Athletic Greens for sponsoring this episode. And if you didn't know, these sponsors allow us to take the time to film what we're doing during our workday so that we can put it on YouTube for you to enjoy. I'm always looking for healthy habits to help fuel my adventures, whether it's at work or on my mountain bike or on my skis. So my wife and I have been using AG1 for about a year now, and the best benefit for me is just the extra energy I feel. And for me, it's kind of like if you drink coffee, that coffee feeling that just lasts throughout the day instead of just a few hours in the morning. With AG1, better nutrition is just made a lot simpler. It has 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens in one convenient daily serving. This special blend of ingredients helps your body's nutritional needs and supports gut health, immunity, energy, recovery, focus, and aging. They've gone through 52 different versions of the AG1 product over the last decade based on the latest research to make it better and better and better. And most importantly though, it's very convenient to use. You just do one scoop or one travel pack in eight ounces of water, one time a day, and that's it. And it tastes good. In fact, it's the best tasting supplement of its kind. I can drink it, you can drink it, and feel better. So if you're interested in trying out AG1 by Athletic Greens, go to athleticgreens.com slash Perkins Brothers and you'll get a year's supply of vitamin D plus five free travel packs with your first purchase. Again, Athletic Greens is gonna give my audience a year's supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with their first purchase. And you ought to check it out. 
No positive placement nailer? Not yet. Do you think you brought it? Seriously? I, I really thought I had it. We just cut the clips, hand drive them. Oh, that's gonna suck. If I took that, it out. No, that's a regular framer. It might just be tucked in under all this crap. Oh. I mean, I probably took it out. Is that not it? We're never gonna need it. No, that's the small framer. Uh, I got a bunch of plug-in saws. <laughs> use the, why can't I use the, Why can't I use these? <laughs> I'm right here, you... There. Hey, so you're telling me, Eric, that this is not as good as those little guys. No, not for sheer strength, which yeah. is what the hanger needs. Yeah, sheer strength. Sheer near, near, not not so. like pure strength, but like Which sheer. So like these scissors. like are code passing for hangers, and those framer nails are. Well, they might be. Yeah, but we use uh, them for this. I mean, I bet. The, yeah, but that's you got to use a long. You gotta. And it goes through wood. Oh, yeah, there no. you go. Oh no! Oh, that was yeah, good idea. You got to twist it to the side. Oh yeah, like that. That's yeah, the move. That's the move. All right. Oh, he's he's gonna do it. See, Watch not. your fingers. With our girder fully installed and nailed off, it was time to add the trimmers or jacks, I call them, at each end of the girder. And this will bring the weight of the roof from above down below to the foundation. All right, now we've got two jacks at the end of this beam. And I looked up the span table for the beam, but I didn't look up <clears throat> what the bearing needed to be at the end. Well, we know uh, it's at least three inches. Yeah, so that would be the minimum. I'm going to look it up Maybe now. it's four and a half, though. Material, LVL, roof load. 20, select house width. Minimum end bearing length of three inches. Two trimmers at each end. So, minimum. Uh, I, don't, I, mean, I don't want it to stick out further in the room. I don't either. Uh, it's not going anywhere. This is, it's actually oversized. Well, I did put about at least 10 toe screws in each end also. That okay. I, that'll help hold it. Okay. All right, let's leave it. If the inspector says something, we'll add one. Tom? Take him out. It, the, the house should not fall. You'll need a drill. All right, boys, we're done. Or are we? so are we? we thought. We're looking at this wall now, and we even had to call the homeowner in. Oh, Here he comes. Is. Hey, you mean the contractor? The, I mean the contractor. We have to call in the contractor. Should this wall just be gone? I think it can just be gone structurally. You could probably spread some wall be gone on that and it'd be gone by morning. <laughs> $1,000. What do you think? I mean, <laughs> you got two cabinets and maybe like a mini fridge there. Yeah. I don't know. It would... You could do pennant lights coming down. You might want to see this kitchen from everywhere in the house. It's going to be so nice. Yeah. You could do and he can't get a hold of Susanna, so I this is got a text, the so real see. crunch time decision here. You're like, Maybe I made a decision. So we got, and this is all their kitchen stuff. This is not how they normally live. I've yeah, been here. Definitely don't. That's our miniature. Kitchen I've been here normally. It's it's messier. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's it's cleaner. So if we took this out, you would be directly to the dining room, yeah. and we cut that hole in that wall when you first moved in, me and you. Yes, we did. So that was good. Wow, that was a good move. Yeah, yeah. it is. I like it. So we're thinking on it, and um, yeah. I mean, I see, I see what you're saying. She just said, why are they thinking that? And yes, she's done So, um. Open floor plan. Yeah. What do you think, Jono? I would take it out. You would? I would put another bar top What's your bar vote? type of thing right there. I would, um, I would take it out. <laughs> Camera's right here, friend. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ray? Out. Out. <laughs> Eric, I never have an opinion. And Matt? <laughs> Um, I, I like the idea of being out. And I can dub over whatever you say like later to make it say whatever you want to say. Yeah. So I you're do. yes. I do. I, I, I like it. Now that I see this section out, I, ble I believe. I don't have my, you got my, <laughs> I don't have a light. There you go. Who's got a light? Let me see that thing. Oh, hey, let me see that. I'll turn the light on and we'll just go up here with the camera. What'd she, uh -oh, what'd she say? She said, okay, sounds good, but we better make a vow to Keep both rooms clean. Mm. Hashtag feng shui. Wow. That's deep. Yeah. I don't see anything don't except for one vertical stud coming down. But I'm pretty sure that's on the other side of all that. 
Hey, you do have these random fans in your attic. Yeah. Uh, like. Attic fans. No, just like fans. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure why they put those up there. Uh, they probably put them up here while they were working and then just left them. The HVAC guys. Yeah. Right. No, you're good. If you want to take it out, there's nothing up here, Matt. Just grab them fans so we can use them here. It's gripping. I right got up. freaking fiberglass in my armpits. There you go. That's <laughs> good. Shower. Just rub them in. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. Whoa, yeah, seriously? Is it? Did you say no, yeah. Oh, she did. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you weren't here when yeah, I read the text. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I missed all that. So, I thought you just like boom, just okay. decided. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> he was like, wow. Okay. But we better be make a vow to keep both rooms clean. Hashtag clean. Hashtag feng shui. Mm. That's on you, bud. Yeah. Yeah, we can't help you out on that one. One final thought that Matt just brought up here is that the drywall on the ceiling is going to be like a smoother finish here and it's not a smooth finish there right. and if it's not got a divider what's yeah. it what's it going to be yeah exactly. so we could leave the double top plate just as just a little like just break mm. no. <laughs> thousand bucks <laughs> thousand bucks we'll do it dude we're getting rich on this job yeah i, I agree with you there though you might need like a faux beam with yeah, you could just oh, do a phobic. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we could just box that in. Uh, just leave the double top plate, box it in with some casing and paint it. Just like, just like trim work. So this really is to be continued. Matt is smarter than he looks and decided to wait the weekend, discuss it with Susanna, let them both look at it, um, and then call us Monday morning. I mean, I love the thought. It looks, I think it's going to look great taking it down, having this the counter and open space. But I will say, you told us to take one wall down already, and guess what we did today? Build half of it back. We built half of it back. So I think that's a good call. See you, Matt. See you. It's Monday morning, we're back on the job because they decided to take the wall down, sort of. We'll show you. Um, I can't, I can't help but notice uh, your face looks a little different. I don't see anything different. Are you joking me? <laughs> what is this, dude? It's like a I, little caterpillar. It's always been there. All I did was trim my beard. Uh, I think you darkened <laughs> that in a little bit too. I didn't. <laughs> Um, well, I some... appreciate the vote of confidence. No, it looks good. Styling. I knew. It looks great. Yeah. I'm sure your wife loves it. I can't figure out if maybe you're just jealous or what your problem is. I think it is. Because I, you've seen I've tried to grow a mustache yeah. before, and it don't come in thick like that cat, caterpillar <laughs> there, boy. I am a little jealous. I might have to try a little bit harder. Monday morning. Ah! What the heck, dude? <laughs> Ever done this before? Oh, there it goes. You just have to <laughs> twist it a little bit. Well, what do you think now? I think it looks amazing. Yeah, I think that was a good call. Yeah. Yeah, I really like how the studs are going to like... No, yeah, the studs are going to go. Parts of the house. <laughs> studs are going too. That's going to be so nice now. Like, you can just put food and dishes right to the kitchen. Right to the dining room. Yeah. Way better. We're finally done with demolition and framing on our remodel project. The so subs can get in here and do their thing so we can continue on. Thanks for building with us today, and we'll see you on the next one. I gotta go get my kids. What's going on with your teeth? <laughs> Got chocolate Have you been in the them? donut? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what my kids say. I can't. I'm diabetic, man. I wouldn't touch a donut. <laughs> Never. Yeah. He I, wouldn't touch one, he'd just eat yeah. it. I saw him like this though with his pump. He's like, <laughs> pump it up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, look at him. See, he knows. Yeah.